Well, I'm Karen Sujimoto. I'm a former curator at the Oakland Museum of California, and I also worked at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art uh, several years ago. You know, in my understanding of her work, as I've uh, looked at her paintings, talked to various people, I think that she set an important role model about what it is to be an artist. Not so much what she painted, but she believed in what she wanted to communicate and a commitment to her art, regardless of financial reward and the struggles of being a parent and working and going through marriages and heartbreak, um, things like that. But always at the core, her art, I think her art was her anchor. And for me, I really respect that because everybody goes through life kind of wobbling along and you just have to find out where is your passion, what is your anchor. And I think that's what I really respect about Joan and what I believe she shared with her friends, colleagues, and students that studied with her. Joan has long been an underappreciated artist from Northern California in a number of ways. Uh, one, that she is a female artist that I think made important contributions to not only uh, West Coast art, but laying precedent for artists throughout the country. And two, just to see her in the context of how she embraced contemporary ideas about art, but also wanted to fold in aspects of her own personal life. I have puzzled about why Joan has been dropped out of a lot of the histories of female artists. And I think on one hand, it may be because uh, she was seen as part of um, a male-dominated art community back in the 50s and 60s. And then when she started doing her more reflective self-portraits, perhaps they weren't as rigorous or as scathingly introspective as a lot of feminists were doing at that time. but. Joan was a little bit of ahead of her time, and um, as I say, the mainstream art critics and viewers just uh, didn't connect to her art at that point. <laughs>